I'm Model Officer and this is part 13 of how I do dioramas. So welcome back in this episode we're just going to concentrate on the windows of our church. It's one of the main features in which you would think of is the stained glass windows in a church and as these illustrations show you the depth and character of those windows can be ph phenomenal. So I chose to go with a product from Reality and Scale. Now, this is the product that I purchased from them in front of you. Very nice, great detail and great windows. However, when I bought them, this particular piece was meant to have a set of five windows, which would have been perfect for my particular build. Unfortunately, even though they look good in, in situ, there just wasn't enough windows. So unfortunately the only choice I had was to make my own. Pick some images from the internet and I placed them onto a program, scaled them to as close as I could get to the correct scale and then simply printed them onto some acetate sheets that you can buy in any hobby store. The upside to this was, as you can see by this picture, they're a little bit more faded than the reality and scale ones and actually that works a lot better for me. So, moving on, we need to get them into the church. How are we going to go about that? So we just cut them down, cut the acetate sheet down into the individual windows in which we needed. Now, obviously there was a part of the design of what I printed I didn't need, so I had to cut that off, being very careful as I went along to make sure that they would fit in place. Now luckily I had a spare set of the windows and I used them as a master. So I just took one piece out, the one that they would sit on, and trimmed around to make sure they fit just as correctly as possible. So getting them onto the windows on the church, quite simple really, it's gonna need some super glue, very carefully and very sparingly put on the window. By putting a hobby light inside the church, it gave me the ability to see the stained glass design correctly as I found the correct place for it before I glued it. A lot of fiddling here and there, but once we were happy with its position, a little dab of super glue right at the bottom. Again, double checking and place, making sure we place that panel properly. And again, another little dot, uh, dollop of super glue on the top. So after getting it into the correct position, I then went around the stained glass window with a little bit of extra super glue from the frame and the edge of my stained glass window. Didn't want to get anything running in it, so I was very careful not to use too much. And the super glue I'm using here is quite thick as well, so no chance of it running. Once that was all done, went straight over into the other side, just repeating the same process. A little bit of super glue, getting the window into place, and again running a little super glue around the outside to give it a little bit more contact to the frame. Now 
Then once in place, just quickly going over it again, just to make sure that we press it down. So we're making sure that, that contact is fully complete and no chance of it flapping around. A really simple way of doing it and I'm really happy with the results I'm getting. Now one thing to notice, make sure if you do this, that obviously there will be a glossy side, which is the side you want inside the church, and a dull side, which will be your print. Now don't get them muddled around and, and fix them incorrectly, because that will ruin the effect, as I found out. Now for the top part, we've got a special design to go for our top section of our acetate window. In this, I'm gonna use the actual piece to cut around and make sure that I'm gonna get that circle correct. Just scoring around the edges just to make sure I've got some idea. And then with a pair of scissors, it's very small scissors, I'm just gonna cut around to make our circular window. That looks good to me. So the same procedure with the window, we're just gonna pop it in place. A little dab of super glue on the edges just to make sure the window, or the stained glass rather, is fixed to the window frame properly. This is a bit of a tricky operation and having that light up behind it really did make it so much easier. So here you can see both windows and the way that's finished at the moment. The top corners, etc., are a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna to have to come back to that because I'm gonna to have to make fresh designs for that. And that's really hard to find. But it looks good so far. So there you go. Now's a good moment to call time on this particular episode. The windows are looking great, still loads to do, especially on that middle window. That's gonna be problematic to say the least. Anyway, two more episodes to go of this series. Uh, the last being a reveal video and that may have a little bit of a gap in it but hopefully we'll have a video up next week and to make sure you don't miss it please make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon and in relation to any comments you want to make or any questions please make sure you do so I've had so many questions throughout the series and I've read and answered every single one of them so please keep them coming it's really great to interact so that's the end for now. Until next week, take care.